recently to um, write a story about a, a city. And I, I'm from Chicago and I live in San Francisco, so I decided to write about Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> it's called Lincoln. That year we lived on Hole Bridge in a small one-story house with a patch of dirt in the back Sheila always talked about making a garden out of. Everybody else on the block lived in similar houses, and during the long summer we all spent weekend days on the small concrete slabs that were the best anybody could do for porches. I don't remember any of our neighbors' names, only that we sometimes drank a few beers together and talked about how hot it was. How, how could it possibly be this hot and not even June? I was an adjunct in the English department. Sheila was a poet who didn't believe in universities, who didn't believe universities and poetry had anything to do with each other. She got a job waiting tables at the Golden Walk, and it was there that she met someone, another waiter. Before she got the job there, we used to eat there sometimes. The Golden Walk was cheap and open late, and a big, sprawling place, and even when it was filled with people, had a way of looking empty. I left Lincoln the following year, and have not been back to Nebraska since, except for a few times driving across it on I-80. I never stop in Lincoln for gas. When I lived there, I was told that it had once been a beautiful city. This was before, apparently, they ruined it by building too many highways. And for a smallish town, even if a state capital, Lincoln did seem to have an inordinate amount of highways. But still, there were the sunken gardens with all the flowers and a kind of bowl, and also the houses on Sheridan Boulevard. Sheila and I would drive up and down Sheridan Boulevard and look at those houses. Once she pointed to one of them and said, in all seriousness, who would we be if we lived there? <laughs> <laughs> 